we're gonna do a weekly wind up. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do one um, this week or not, but I'm sitting here and I decided why not. And this week has kinda had a few stories that I wanna like talk to you guys about. So let's kinda get started. So the first thing I wanna talk about is of course the one that's been talked about the most, which is gonna be Steve Harvey and his complete mess up. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I do not like Steve Harvey at all. I see Family Feud on TV and I'm just like, why does everything have to be sexual? I remember when I was a little girl and I used to watch it, there was not all the sexual stuff on it and I just don't think it's a family show anymore and I just, I don't like it. Um, so, I don't know, that's my own opinion about that. But uh, I guess people still watch it and like it. But he made a complete, I don't know. I don't even know, like I feel bad for him because honestly, I don't like him, but he had to feel like a complete jerk for what was happening. So at first I kind of thought that it was like, oh my God, a complete mistake. And then I was like, well, I don't know. Like, was it a mistake or did he do that on purpose? Maybe he didn't do it on purpose, but I think that maybe the show itself, the whole Miss Universe, like I think it's all a conspiracy. I'm all about the conspiracy theories and I think that's what's going on. Oh, by the way guys, I'm not drinking wine tonight. I'm drinking a little bit of vodka. Well, I did have wine earlier. We had Jazzberry from Bordy Vineyards. It was some uh, wine that was left over uh, from Greg's birthday. Now we're drinking Cotton Candy Pinnacle Vodka. It's so sweet but we had a little bit left. Figured I'd work on it. My husband made a good point. Steve Harvey's screw up did make for some really good memes, so I'll give him some credit for that. That's it. All right, let's move on. Yeah, I did my nails and they're already chipping and I'm so upset about that. The next thing is I was reading about Sonia, um, I don't know, whatever, from Operation Repo, if you guys ever watched that show. She was like, really, really overweight, and I saw something about her, and it was like a video from, she stole some guy's wallet, I don't know if you guys know that, but she stole some, some guy's wallet, she said she saw it on the counter, she was going to take it and give it back to him, and there was like $3,000 in the wallet, and ultimately she ended up going to court, and she pled no contest to the charges and they find her five thousand dollars the video that they were showing her I was like wow she really lost weight and then I tried to like pull some pictures um, of her up online and I can't really find anything but you can kind of tell from like her back and her arms that she has lost weight and I think like her brother on the show or I don't know if they're real life brother or sister I guess they are I don't know but he had uh, weight loss surgery and I think she probably had weight loss surgery so I just thought that was interesting. So that is something else that was going on. And Kim Kardashian has an emoji app. And I'm sitting here like, do I want to get the emoji app or not? Like it costs $1.99. But they do have a couple things there. I was like, hmm, I would kind of like to have that emoji. But I don't know if I could pay $2 for an emoji app for a Kardashian. I just don't think I could do it. But I did want, they it's got like one of those screens, you know, like the waist censures, and I want that emoji, but not $2 worth, I don't think. So, anyway. The other thing, one of the last things that I wanted to talk about that was like popping up in the news, did you guys hear about the girl who called 911 because she touched the elf on the shelf and the elf on the shelf fell? There was like so much drama about that, well around that whole thing. I just thought it was like a cute like Christmassy story, like oh the little girl was scared, whatever, blah blah blah. I mean I remember my brother, like my, actually the youngest one in the family, he called 911 when he was bored. I'm not saying that it's right, but like I know kids do that. You know, that's like not something that's that like off the wall. And people were just like going in on that little girl, like how stupid she should get in trouble she should get yelled at blah blah because blah. apparently you know the fire department came the police came and they were talking to her and they were trying to learn if it was okay and then the fire department one of the guys there dressed up as Santa went to her house and said don't worry about it it happens I forgive you kind of thing I thought it was like warm and heartwarming and way better than talking about politics or ISIS or whatever else is on the news you know because the news can be like really draining and I know sometimes I come home and I look at my husband and I'm like do we really have to watch the news because I just don't because I know what's going on in the news and I watch enough news but sometimes it just gets to the point where I just can't watch it no more because it's stressful 
who needs all that negativity? So anyway, I just thought it was a, a heartwarming thing and then people still turned it into a negative thing. I'm just like, really, you guys? It's Christmas, let's chill out. Whew, booza. So that's kind of what's going on in like the news type of stuff that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. Greg and I did, we celebrate on Christmas Eve, so um, I got to leave work early on Christmas um, Eve. I got paid for the few hours I was there, and then the rest of the hours I took, I think like seven hours are going unpaid, which, you know, kind of sucks. But whatever, I was home, we had a nice dinner, our grandson came over, he opened his gifts on Christmas Eve, so that was wonderful. Then yesterday, Greg and I just kind of like relaxed, and then we went to his aunt's house, and we had dinner there, and you know, we did some gift exchanges, and you know, it was, it was just a nice time. And then, you know, today we've really just kind of hung around the house. Digger wasn't feeling real good earlier, so um, you know, we went out for a little bit, let him rest. He's still resting, but he's doing much better. <laughs> On Christmas Eve, we had lasagna, Greg made lasagna for Christmas Eve, and that was our dinner. He got us bread, and the bread. <laughs> I went to go butter it. I took the butter knife and I went to cut it. And I sliced my finger. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but like I legit like cut into myself like an idiot. I mean, there was blood and everything like everywhere. I'm just like, I don't understand. Well, not everywhere, but you know, whatever. I'm like dramatic, but it was a good cut. It was. I promise you it was a good cut. That's kind of what happened with that. I'm gonna do a video. Um, I'm hoping I'll get it filmed. Sunday and then have it uploaded Monday, Tuesday at the latest with you know what I got for Christmas so you guys can see. I think that's it. So that's what's going on. That's what's happening. Yeah. Next time I come on, well, I'll be doing a video um this week with the with what I got for Christmas, and then I'm gonna also do a video with my resolutions for the new year. Because I do have resolutions this year. I don't think I've had resolutions for a few years now. So we're gonna do some resolutions this year and we'll go into that and then the new year will start over and I will let you guys, you know, in on some of the things that I'm doing fitness wise. I'm really gonna kinda get into that next year but I'll go into all that with my resolutions. But if you guys have any questions or anything that you guys wanna know fitness wise about like what I'm doing, you can leave me some comments below and I will work on getting some videos done and up um, at the beginning of the year with all that kind of good stuff. That's it, we're gonna go ahead and end this year. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a wonderful end of the year and we'll see you later, bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button down below. Make sure you're following me on all my social channels. I am Dawn Rambles everywhere. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.